Great thing about school is you get to relearn what you didn't learn well last time when you were a kid, yeah? I'm just torn. You're always tearing my heart. You're always tearing my heart apart, bro. One day it's, you know, I congratulate you and the next day I gotta hide from you. It's so hard. That's just, just the graffiti culture, you know? I just hope someone sponsors you before. Yeah, I hope so too. It's gonna be too expensive. Yeah. But, you know, even from, you know, I would support you with, with sprays and everything, too, if you, um, you know, I, I have from the graduation board afterwards, you know, there's always extra supplies and stuff, but you just gotta show me you got the right route. And I appreciate the art that they do in class and their rapport with me. Rinse it right in the faucet and let it drip. Let it do its thing. You got the good colors for it to drip and look gross. And then the next day I find their, their tags on a truck right in front of Kaiser High School. It only becomes a problem when it's in front of places that everybody sees every day, from teachers to administrators to whoever. And you see this and you see the same images in my classroom. It just leads right back to me. And I don't know if they used any of my materials. I just get really embarrassed. I, I feel ashamed because I'm teaching them techniques and they're using it out there, and then I have to stop teaching them. I have to stop being their friend that day, that moment. Hey, Israel. Did you need lunch? Do you want lunch? Some students don't have lunch, so I give them my lunch. You can use these watercolor tubes too, Holly, if you feel like uh, breaking your flow in another way. There's these color, watercolor tubes. Remember when you us how to beat the waterfall? Yeah. Well, yeah, right. Well, you, you got dark blues here right now, yeah. If you have a lighter version of these kind of aqua colors, but lighter and lighter, either grays or light blues, then you fade it into the lighter blues, and then the mist is what it's trying to represent. So it fades into nothing here. So the white space down here is the mist. So in this case, this person got caught, was watched for a long time, and finally caught for something he shouldn't have been doing, and they suspended him, but it didn't take away his spirit and arts, and he just would really wanted to promote himself constantly. And because I saw that he was under suspension, I made a point to contact him and his mother, made sure that he was able to go out and find venues to express himself and to meet the right people. So rather than waiting for them to fail, I'm just trying to find more places for them to succeed and continue the cycle of growth that I think we need to adopt as much knowledge as we can from the kids. Thank you. Cass, do you want an old picture of you from when I was trying to date you, but you didn't give me a red bull? <laughs> but, but I didn't give you what? Nothing. I didn't give you a red bull? That giving is not really uh, cohesive with business mindedness. And I often find myself giving away my art, even though as I was getting more famous from comic books, I would still have a hard time accepting money from people, even though they would be glad to give it. It was called Pomo, which is breaking through the clouds, and it's almost like cloud gazing. So from that, you would create whatever you would see from it. And the meditative aspect of it is, if you're clear-headed enough... Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> you can look through whatever, of course, appreciate that man. He starts earlier than I ever did. Totally right there. Then you could truly see anything from a splash, whatever your mind sees. So I do have issues and problems, so... Um, during those days, if I splashed and I couldn't see anything, it was pretty much telling me that I need to clear my head. Because every morning, outside our apartment, there are dandelions. I would pick one for her every day, and I would draw that dandelion for her. So it would be clouds of dandelions every day for years and years when I was a child, up until about third grade. So just seeing her face, she would never act bored about it. You know, I would be bored, I guess, as an adult, seeing the same image every day. But she would look authentically impressed, authentically uh, elated.
and taking care of a few graffiti boys who are going out to the whole stadium and they're going to be decorating the walls and the locker rooms and the places where pro football players, everybody famous, would be walking by and appreciating. And But that style, those flares that you see in graffiti uh, text and lettering and images, um, of course, being around artists, you start adapting some of their styles. So often I find my, I catch myself, you know, learning from students. Um, it's a cycle like anything else. Okay, thanks class. had really bad attitudes in the beginning because we would have to drive 18 hours to Toronto from Kentucky and we'd have to like do all these convention circuits and it tired us out. You know, A lot of the times it wasn't worth it. Um, for 80% of the artists at conventions it's not worth it honestly because there's the gas expenses, the hotel expenses, the ticket expenses and it is a rough industry, it really is. But thankfully I found the right people that had the right convictions to just be there, to always just show up no matter what and they always taught me just showing up is an important part of being an artist.